Bzzz. What's happening people? Off to the gym now and gonna do a chest session. We're two weeks into the bulk now. So, or into the second week. So, should be getting stronger and noticed that we were lifting more weight than the, than the cut because we've gone up in calories. So, But still trying to work out exactly how much we need to eat. So, yeah. We're just settling into it really at the moment. We've not quite hit where we were at the end of last year's, at the end of last year's bulk. Uh, but we, it doesn't look like we've lost too much strength. I reckon in a couple of weeks time we'll be more or less where we were, or where we should be. But it's all about settling into it and not getting frustrated. In terms of the bulk, we're thinking about six weeks, six months, sorry. <laughs> and uh, should be a good amount of time to put on muscle and then that should take us to like what's that March March end of March end of March hopefully unless we get really fat yeah, that, that's the thing this year though we're gonna try and not like we're, we're tracking our calories more it's like the first proper bulk we're doing really because normally we just we start bulking and then we don't really track what we're doing <laughs> and then we end up with just way more fat than we want and then we're like let's just cut before we've finished our bulk so what I say is that we usually we're usually on like this perma uh, perma cut and then it gets to around Christmas time we're just like you know what what's the point of being lean it's Christmas and we just eat everything put on loads of size and strength over that time but and then we're like oh my god we're so fat so we're only really bulking for like a month whereas this year we're tracking our calories and making sure we're actually gaining weight at the rate we want to be and hopefully we can hold it together over Christmas We'll see. But yeah, it should be quite a lean bulk this time. Mm. So hopefully we don't get too fat. We say that now, but you see us in two months. And Dad yeah. bod. <laughs> We're gonna try and show you the whole workout. We haven't done that before, so it should be, it's, it's a Sunday afternoon, so you shouldn't really be too busy in the gym. So uh, this is like, the first of like a like a series we're gonna do of like just lean bulk lean bulk 2018 slash 19 bulk, yeah so just gonna go through our workouts and uh, like uh, keep you up to date with our progress as well and yeah you can see how it's working out for us yeah see if there's any actual correlation behind the theory see if lean bulking is actually as effective as dirty bulking Maybe, maybe dirty bulking is more fun. But to be honest, we've been finding that even with the calories that we, we've set at the moment, on which I feel like we're actually losing weight, so we might have to up it a bit. But there's just so many calories compared to what we were eating when we were cutting, and it's just like, it's not really been an issue of, oh, I wish I could eat more. I am like, it's, well, we'll get to the end of the day, we'll be like, oh, we're like 500 calories short, sure, we need to eat something. And filling up the protein has not been an issue, it's just the sheer amount of calories and carbs as well because we are so used to eating barely any carbs and our got carb goal is a lot higher now and it's just it just feels unnatural and we feel really full we lose ourselves in the spirit of things we lose our sight when we put our trust in things of this material world. Our things that fade away, let me keep coming back. So, the first exercise is five sets of five reps on flat bench, and the aim of this is to complete the five sets on the weight that we've picked. And once we complete it, the week after, we will add 1.25 kilogram plates onto each side so every time we complete the set we will then go up 2.5 kilograms for the whole um, for the whole exercise
The second exercise is a superset of incline bench and dumbbell flies, also on the incline. The rep range is a bit higher on this, and we go for about 8 reps, 8 to 10. Higher than on flat bench, and this is more about hypertrophy, so we're looking to build size more than strength on this particular exercise. final chest superset we focus on really squeezing and working the chest on again more of a hypertrophy level to build muscle mass so these exercises really help finish them off These tricep exercises that you are seeing are what we finished our chest sessions with.
just like a spark that's breaking out Can't make a start, can't turn back now You know that there's no room for doubt Ash is being pained by a shoulder injury. Yeah, I had, had this annoying shoulder injury. It hasn't gone for like, like two months now, so it's not ideal for pushing, but it's got to work around it really. But it's it's not a bad session. Like, session like session like session like for the second week of I think eating in a surplus. You never know at the start, but. Um, but, but yeah. Harris's shoulder is broken, it's been broken for months. It's not it's not no, broken. broken. It's it's actually really minor, but it's like when you're nah, he's broken. when you're pushing it and then you're yeah. like, maybe I'm gonna hurt hurt it more, but I don't think it's that bad. It's like i am I'm gonna lay off uh, overhead pressing for a for a few weeks, maybe a week. He's never liked overhead pressing. It's all excuses. I can't squat. Because I've got, some, <laughs> I've got a knee injury. I can't, I can't bench because I've got a shoulder injury. I can't deadlift because I've got a back injury. So I'm just gonna do arms from now on. I don't get. Everyone says they don't want to deadlift because they're scared of getting back injuries. I feel like it's propagated by everyone saying oh, I've got a back injury from deadlifting. If you deadlift properly, you're not gonna hurt your back. I mean, the whole point of deadlifting is. It's to strengthen it's your back. To, it's to it? strengthen your lower back. Exactly. So, like, it works your hamstrings as well. But if you have if you have a good deadlift, you've probably got a good lower back, so you're l less likely to get injured from it. But yeah, basically, do all the lifts, <laughs> or you're not a proper gym goer. <laughs> train legs. Don't train legs, but no one no one cares about legs. I mean. What, what do people look at? Calves. That's what's most important. But not like your, not quads, hamstrings. It's pointless muscles. They're not. They're, they're not even used in sport either. So there's no point squat. There's no point squatting really. Just do calf raises. Just follow with our fitness.